Yo, what's going on guys? I am OG here and today um I have a little tutorial. Um I'm sure some of you um maybe all of you are wondering what this is. Uh Xbox 360 neighborhood. Um some of you might know what it is, but some of you do, um probably don't know how to get it. It's not the easiest thing to do and it's not the easiest thing to find. Basically what it is, you open it up and um you can add an Xbox 360 and you can basically um, you have to have a dev kit for this or be on a NAND. Um, I'll make a video on that. Um, if you guys would like, just comment. Um, or if I get <coughs> enough likes or just PM me. Um, I can give you a text tutorial or just make a video on it if I get enough people to do that. But anyway, um, <coughs> it's you can control your Xbox hard drive. You can load up games. You can use um, RPX, uh, XPC or RPC tools. Um, like, con like for example, um, this right here. Hang on, let me just open this real quick. Uh, this uh, tool right here. This thing you can connect it, connect your JTAG to this, and you can get all this stuff. See, JTAG RPC XBDM. Download. You must have JTAG RPC and XBM plugins for this to work. Download them here, and if you guys um want me to show you how to do this um so you can do all this stuff you can it's just really cool um <coughs> if i get four likes no three likes on this i'll give you the full tour of this um all my hacking files and what i how i use them and stuff but anyway let's get into the tutorial um so basically what you'll need is these two things um xbox security neighborhood and BitTorrent. it's a torrent because it's such a huge file and once you download it what you will get is um all these files the sdk files you will get every single one of these except for that one you get all these okay and then <coughs> you are just going to want to um after you've downloaded it it's pretty simple you're just going to want to open it up and you're going to want to click on one of the um you're going to click on Part one, and you don't have to do all of those. You just do one of them, and you just open this up. Takes a pretty long time to process, but <clears throat> you know I'm gonna. Have, I have to. I'm gonna show you guys this because this is a very important part. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but if something goes wrong, I don't want you guys to, you know, have anything go wrong. And um, uh, when you first open it up, it's gonna say um. There may be files in here that um, may harm your computer. It just it says that I did it. I mean, I wouldn't have it on here, and this isn't my download link. So I mean, so um, it's on my computer, and it's fine. And I've had it for a very long, very very long time. Um, so sorry for the wait on this. You guys can uh, fast forward past this. Um, but I mean, <coughs> it's. It's a really simple tutorial. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I mean, that was the most important part. Click in the right part. It's part one. Um, don't touch any of the other parts. You don't need them really. I don't know, really know why it gives you all of them. All right, but right when it opens up, give it a sec here, and then yeah, it didn't do anything for me because I already have it set up. But you know, it'll take you through like a setup. It's just like any other program. Um, um, and then, um, you'll get this, and you can just drag it to your desktop, rename it Xbox 360 Neighborhood, um, actually, it should be named that already, never mind, <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, once you've done that, then, um, oh, here it is, okay, and you just click yes, and, um, I won't be installing this because I already have it right there, but uh, one second, just let it load up here. If it does, it's a huge program, just letting you know. So, if it does take a little while, just be patient. Uh, it's a very l big, large file. Um, 
But once that comes up, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like I was saying, you just click next, next, whatever, install, and you'll get this. You can open it up, add Xbox 360, and just click next on this, and just enter the Xbox name or IP address, and connect it, and you're good. So yeah, it looks like this, just like any other thing. You click next, and it just warning you that. That's really me. And and then connect AV. This is just how to. This is just like hooking up your Xbox, just like normal. Then you click next, next, and it'll install. But I'm not gonna go through that. Um. <coughs> so yeah, that's basically it. Once you have it, then uh, if you have a dev kit or you're on the um, dev NAND, um, then you can connect it and have a lot of fun with it. And your JTAG is. <laughs> A lot funner than it was before. So thank you guys um, for watching. Um, <coughs> if you have any questions, I know this wasn't the best tutorial, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions at all, message me, PM me, um, contact me. Um, I'm on Glitch Forum a lot and TTG. <coughs> if you want to PM me there, um, my um, usernames will be in the description. Um, so yeah guys, thank you for watching, um, please rate, comment, subscribe, it helps a lot, and um, I'll see you guys uh, in the next video, later.